Hello, my amazing, wonderful, fabulous, super cool, chill, amazing, wonderful friends, and thank you so much for joining me on my channel today. I won't mess around. I'll get right to the point. Today, we are talking about my top five inverts for beginners. Inverts, also known as invertebrates, covers a large amount of animals such as bugs, arachnids, mantis, all kinds of great stuff. So I have a variety of animals to show you. I tried to pick different ones from like different categories um, based on their ease of care, accessibility, um, and just overall how much I love them. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get to our first animal, number five on the list. And it was really hard to put these in order because I love all of these animals so much, but I had to try my best. So let's get to number five. Number five, I have a very small and very angry vinegaroon here. I love vinegaroons. I think they are such amazing little critters. It was really hard to put them at number five on the list, but I just had some that went above, but these are amazing. They don't have any venom. Their defense mechanism that they have is actually a vinegar-like substance that they shoot from their back end, which is stinky and can burn if it gets in your eyes. So don't be putting these guys on your face, but they are amazing little critters. I actually only have a baby right now, but they are just so cool. Their pinchers are quite small. They're not likely to pinch you and they have no stinger, no venom, nothing to hurt you or harm you. They're really easy to handle. They are just amazing little critters and I think everyone should have one. They are just so cute and their little antenna guy, their little modified petty pelt that they wave around are just so cute. And I just love these little guys. I love this little baby here. He's pretty thick. He's probably gonna molt soon. But yeah, I'm sorry I don't have a larger one right now to show you. But yeah, that is the vinegar rune. I put it at number five on the list. Now number four on the list is going to be a tarantula. I adore tarantulas. They're what started me in the hobby. So I had to pick one tarantula that I thought was the best for beginners. And I picked, you can see her. Oh, her water dish. Oh, her water dish is just spilling out. Do you see her? Here is a better view of my Fona Palmahensi buttercup. I know you couldn't really see her in that um, image I showed, but here she is. The R, blah, blah, blah. She's beautiful. She's amazing. I hope you can get a good look at her and just see how wonderful she is. I picked the Afona Pelma Hensi because they are amazingly docile, really calm, really easy to handle if you're into that, but not necessary if you don't want to. They look like a really awesome, cool, big spider. They're so beautiful. I just love that like brown spider look. Nothing too fancy. It could definitely suit anyone's desires. I just think the Afona Pelma Hensi has a great personality. And of course, all tarantulas are different. Each individual animal is going to behave differently, but from my experience with them, I find them to be very docile, very chill, and just fun to watch, and they don't move a lot. They don't move a lot, I'll be honest, but I still just have so much fun. I love my girl Buttercup. I think she's just amazing, and I love her so much. Um, so yeah, I think they would be an amazing addition to any beginner, anyone starting out in the hobby. They're not too hard to get. Um, you may find the Afona Palma Calcodes to be a bit more accessible. I just don't have one right now, but um, I think they're just so great, and they're easy to care for. The care is so straightforward, but again, you know, just make sure you're in the market to have a pet. Don't just buy them because I say they're easy to care for. Buy them because you really want it. Does that make sense? Okay, number three. <laughs> In place number three, I'm going to put the Asian Forest Scorpion. I think this is probably my top scorpion for beginners as they are extremely accessible. They are really easy to get your hands on. They're really easy to care for and they're really quite docile too. Now don't go holding an animal for no reason if you aren't going to do it safely. I have a video on how to hold scorpions, but um, they are pretty docile. They are easy to care for. They don't require a lot of humidity. I mean, some humidity, just like simple mistings, and they eat pretty much anything you give them. I've noticed that Asian forest scorpions are not very picky when it comes to food. So they are just amazing little guys. If you're interested in getting a scorpion, I think this is a great place to start. 
They're just very cool looking. They are very interesting to look at. There's um, there's just nothing bad to say about them. Honestly, they're just amazing little little critters and I had to put them at number three. I wanted to put them higher up on the list, but I um, don't pinch me, don't pinch me. But I um, had to pick and I had to choose and he got number three. So yes, the Asian forest scorpion in number three. Now number two, I only have a real little guy to show you, but coming in in place number two is the ghost mantis. If you want a mantis, I think ghost mantis are an excellent place to start. You can keep them communally if you feed them well so they won't eat each other. You can also handle them very easily. They're very docile. They're very passive. They're, they're very chill, like they just mimic a leaf, a dead leaf, so they just kind of sit there like a dead leaf would and they don't do a whole lot, but gosh, they're just amazing little critters. They look like absolute crazy little alien guys and they just like look at you and they're so cute. Hi, buddy. You're so beautiful. Look at you. Look at you. You're so cute. But they are just amazing little critters and I think that everyone should have... A ghost mantis because they are so chill, so wonderful. He wants some water. And they are such good little critters to have. So yeah, ghost mantis, easy to care for, easy to find. It's not gonna break the bank. They have a short lifespan, which is like the only bummer about them, but they are just amazing. So yeah, I put them at number two. And coming in in the most coveted spot, number one is the black hole spider. These are the most underrated, amazing, and fabulous inverts that I keep. I just love these guys so much. They are very, very easy to handle. They are just so nice and fun to interact with. They're so, so easy to care for, and they're just wonderful little spiders. They stay about this size. They have a little bit of speed to them, but nothing you can't handle. They are just so amazing and I just cannot get over these. Like, I love the black hole spider to death. They are pretty easy to find, I've noticed. I'm hoping to get more available in the hobby quickly, but they are just the most handleable spider that I have. They're just calm, they're chill, they're friendly, they are just my favorite. I just cannot get enough of the black hole spider. The care is so simple. They do well in a pretty humid, or sorry, arid environment. They um, web up for you, which is pretty cool. They are amazing eaters. They eat really well. They are just fantastic little guys. They spin a little web trail, which is really fun to watch. I don't know if you can see it, but they'll web you up a little bit, but they're not as jumpy as um, jumping spiders. And I just like, I prefer them to jumping spiders. Call me crazy if you want, but I think they are even better than jumping spiders and they look a little bit cooler. So yeah, number one is the black hole spider. Before I sign off, I just wanna give a huge thank you to an amazing company, Grub Terra, which sent me over some amazing black soldier fly larvae to feed to my animals. They did not pay me to say anything, so um, not sponsored, just um, they sent me their product for me to check out, which I really appreciate because having any help with taking care of my many animals is awesome and wonderful, but these are packed with nutrients. They have a lot of calcium, a lot of protein. I fed them to my leopard gecko and my emerald swift yesterday, and they just gobbled them up. The food came really fast. It, I think it's $20 for this huge jar of larva. You get a ton. I don't even know how many are in here, but there's a ton. It's $20, including shipping. And what else was I gonna say? Oh, and when they turn into flies, amazing for mantis. Mantis love flies. So when they turn into flies, you can feed them to your mantis. So multi-purpose, multi-use food. I just wanted to say thank you to Grub Terra for believing in me. And thank you for watching this quick little segment because I know ads are never great but I just wanted to shout them out because they took a chance and sent me some product. Well thank you so much for watching the video guys. I really hope you learned something. Let me know if you agree with my choices or if you don't. It's fine either way. I'm happy to hear what you think. 
what your top inverts are but let me know if you're interested in getting any of these if you get any of these super let me know i would love to know but thank you so much for watching have a fabulous day you're wonderful you're amazing you're super cool i appreciate you and have an excellent day and my hands are covered in dirt now and spider webbing so yay for that